I'm going to practice decision making for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The focus of this exercise will be to identify the strength in a dealt hand. I call it random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Don't read the comments below until after the end of the video. Pause the video between the random pulls and make note of what you would play and pass. After the video, enter your comment and then we'll check out the consensus. We have a joker, flower, single dragons, two dots, four bams, three cracks, no multiples. So this is where you want to figure out what the most predominant pattern is and base your decision on that. So what would you play and what would you pass for pull one? I do see three, six, six, but we have no nines. So I don't think I would consider three, six, nine. Since we have no four, I wouldn't consider two, four, six, eight. We have no nine or white dragon, so I don't think I would play a year hand. We have only two dragons, so I wouldn't play wins and dragons. I think what I would do here is play consecutive run, five through eight. There's one consecutive run hand that uses the matching dragon, and we do have five, six, green, seven, eight, red. So I would start by discarding these. It's a little risky being consecutive, but at least it's one of each suit. I would play consecutive run here. Single wind, two, six, seven, eight, nine, five dots, three, four, six pair of nines in the bams, six, eight, nine, three cracks. What would you play and pass for pull two? Since our multiple is the nine bam, I'd say that's where the strength starts. And then I would look at as many of these tiles in support of this multiple and pick a category that uses the most of them. Since we have no one or two or white dragon for that matter, I don't think I would play a year hand. Since we have no fives, I would not play consecutive or the... Um, odds category. We do have six, three, six, six, nine. I think three, six, nine would be the way to go here. Three, six, nine. For discards, I would probably try to break this up into suits one of each suit. This would be a rough pass if we get all keepers for the second pass, so I'd probably swap out the eights. Let's see here. Maybe like this. Both of these are decent passes. Maybe pass this first. And then this one, either one would be fine. But I think for sure 369 is the category for these tiles. If I had to pick a hand, I might consider a pair hand, fourth hand down under singles and pairs. If that didn't come in,
fourth hand down, if we get flowers, pair of flowers with Kongs, three, six, nine, and one suit. Or if we get the dragon and flowers, maybe the concealed hand. So I'd say either the pair hand or the two one suit options under 369. Pull three, one flower, one wind, one dragon, four through nine in dots, all singles. One, two, four, bams, and a single eight. No multiples, no jokers. We do have a flower though. So for pull three, what would you play and what would you pass? This is when you would want to go with the predominant pattern and use the most of your tiles. In this case, I think this consecutive run is best, and there may even be pair hand potential. The seven sequence pair hand, this would be the fourth hand down under singles and pairs. So if we keep all the dots, we do have potential for A one suit Kong hand with flowers, so maybe keep that. For a pass, let's see. I think I would do it like this. This is a little risky. Let's see. That's a little better. I don't like passing year tiles together. So here we have one, four, eight. The one and the four together might work for one hand out of six, seven. So, well, or a quint, I suppose, the first quint. I don't think that's too bad. And then here we have west green two and that way we're breaking up the one two and here we're setting ourselves up for success for consecutive run with or without the flower i wouldn't pick a hand yet but i would say that is probably the strongest potential Sometimes when you get your dealt hand, you'll have mixed suits and all singles, no multiples. When that happens to me, I look for a predominant pattern and I play the category that uses the most tiles. During the Charleston, if a multiple forms, I reassess and I build around the multiple because American Mahjong is a game of multiples. And I think multiples is stronger than a predominant pattern more times than not. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.